thing for Ron Burgundy and his news team. Go time. Channel 4 News with five-time Emmy Award-winning anchor, Ron Burgundy. Cham Kynes, Horts. Rick Tamlin, Weather. And your reporter in the field, Brian Fantana. It's Channel 4 News at 6 o'clock. We're live at NASA. Um, today is Tuesday, Blue Day, regular schedule, December 17th. At 6 p.m. tonight, the girls wrestling will play Mount Baker and Ferndale. Good luck to them. Uh, today at 11.25 a.m., Washington State University Scholarship Workshop at the College and Career Center. Uh, this workshop will discuss how to navigate the WSU scholarship website, write statements, and explore additional applications due by January 31st. Don't miss the gr this great opportunity to learn about the vast scholarship opportunities available at WSU. Current juniors that want to plan ahead are also welcome to attend. See Mrs. Rodriguez to sign up and get a pass. <clears throat> Skagit Valley College. Are you interested in learning more about Skagit Valley College or thinking about attending there next year? It's time to apply. Come to the College Career Center on Wednesday, December 18th during Tiger Time to meet with Peter, a SVC recruitment specialist that will help you apply and provide your information about SVC programs and the steps to become a Cardinal. Food Drive. The secretaries in the athletic, attendance, and main offices are hosting a food drive for our local food bank. Please bring your non-perishable items to any of those offices and put in the marked boxes. We will deliver to the food bank on Friday, December 20th. Holiday Volleyball Tournament is coming right around the corner on Friday, so make sure you turn in your permission slips to either Lehman, Avila, or my mother, Mrs. Brewer. Or Mrs. Lovejoy. <laughs> you already have a team in the tournament. Please pick up a permission <laughs> slip. Now, let's watch this movie review by William Knudsen. Movie Review Hot Wheels World Race is a 2003 animated feature-length toy commercial made to celebrate 35 years of Hot Wheels toys. Our story starts with Burt Wheeler, who turns 16, he gets his driver's license, he goes to the DMV to get his license, then he comes back home and there's a car in his driveway with a message in it from a guy named Dr. Tesla, basically saying that he's getting all the best racers from around the world to compete in a race for $5 million. So he goes to the place where he's holding the race, and there's a bunch of other racers there, and then Dr. Tesla tells all the racers that the race takes place in another dimension on a track built by aliens that he calls the Accelerons eons ago. Okay, so let's meet the other racers. You got Kadeem, he's from Africa, and you got Taro Kitano, he's really good at driving, but he's kind of a bad person. Then you got Banji. Banji's thing is that he's from Puerto Rico, and sometimes he talks in Spanish for a little bit, but like only things that everybody knows, like loco and hola and stuff like that. Then you got the only female character. Her name's Lonnie. You got uh, Kurt Wow. He's got edgy hair, and uh, he's definitely a good guy. His car looks like this. Remember the shape of it, because it's going to be important later. So we go into the first leg of the race, and they're like, Whoa, dude, we're in another dimension, man. And then this mysterious stranger comes along with a car shaped exactly like Kurt Wilde's car. But don't worry, he's definitely not Kurt Wilde. I cannot emphasize this enough. He blows up the track, everybody, you know, stops, and then he goes out ahead and he wins the race. Okay, so the thing is, it doesn't matter who wins the race, because the race is to get the Wheel of Power, right? And that's only after the last leg. And the person who wins any given race doesn't gain an advantage in the next race. So it really just doesn't matter who wins at all, and it makes it kind of hard to get invested in what's actually happening. And then, after the first leg of the race, Dr. Tesla tells some of the racers that they are now leaders of teams, and they get to choose who's on their team, and then some more racers join the race. And then the second leg of the race, so there's this shortcut going off to the side, and then Banji, who's leader of the road beast, decides, hey, let's just go take this shortcut, right? And then all the wave rippers decide, hey, all right, let's take this shortcut. And then they're going along on the shortcut, everything's cool, there's some giant trees. And then the mysterious stranger comes along again, and then he says the most hilarious line in the history of cinema. He says, a shortcut, cut short, and then he blows up a bridge, and then uh, Vert Wheeler almost falls down the bridge, 
but he doesn't because his car has these epic jet booster rockets. The movie has this kind of annoying repeating formula. The racers will encounter an obstacle, and the vert wheeler will overcome the obstacle using skateboard tricks, and then the race gets sabotaged by the mysterious stranger. Just repeat that like four or five times, and you got the bulk of the movie. And then in the second to last leg, it's revealed that the mysterious stranger was actually Kurt Wilde the whole time. <laughs> Shocking, I know. I couldn't believe it either. Anyway, Kurt Wilde's a good guy now because he doesn't like killing people and the evil people wanted him to kill people. Anyway, so then there's the last race in which Burt Wheeler gets the Wheel of Power, and then we find out that Dr. Tesla wanted the Wheel of Power to um, get infinite power, but it doesn't work. But it turns out that they can't actually race anymore now that the Wheel of Power is gone. So they put it back so that they can go back into the race and just have fun. Okay, I know I was kind of harsh on this movie, but honestly, it's, it's kind of fun to just... You know, like, it's stupid, of course it's stupid, but that doesn't make it not fun, you know? It's like how Pacific Rim is fun, well, it's also just dumb. It, it totally owns its stupidness, and it, it's actually a pretty fun time. I'd rate it, like, six stars. I don't know. Uh, definitely better than Legend of the Guardians, The Owls of Gahul. That one was uh, significantly less good. Anyway, here's the tier list now. There's only two movies, but whatever. Also, there's a bunch of evil robots that are trying to kill everybody, but they're really bad at their jobs to the point where it doesn't even matter to the plot, like, at all. So, yeah. One. Whoa. Look who it is, Jack. Have a great day, Tigers. <laughs> Learn something new. And better yet, tell your mother that she's doing a great job raising you. She is. Bye.